Tell me a story, Mr. Wilcher. Huh? Tell me a story. Okay, one day, late August, mid to late August, Kyle Wilcher and his new wife went fishing way up river on the Hiawassee. What ensued later looks something like the rest of this video. I appreciate you watching. Legend has it 70% of the people that watched were not subscribed. So those 70% should go down and subscribe and turn the alerts on. I don't want to disappoint the legend, so just repeating what I was told. Oh my gosh. Look at that freaking wall's nest. That right there is a bunch of big red wasps. That's how you have a bad day on the lake. That sucker's big. Is that a spot? Nope. Large mouth. I mean, as soon as that fat sucker hit the tree, as soon as that frog hit the tree, that fat sucker smashed it. I bounced it off the tree and it landed in the water. And whoosh, that sucker is built. Built like a brick. Good. Get him, Hunter. Get him with it then. Go on with your bad self. <clears throat> Swing him around like a helicopter. Been catching them lately. You know how I caught this fish? How'd you catch it? came off dang it did you see him that sucker ran all up from like 10 feet to come get it <clears throat> I think I actually turned my camera off I thought I was turning on. I skipped up under there, dude, and goosh. And I set the hook, and I couldn't hardly move him for a second. Good one. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Is there a rule that I'm not supposed to be flipping at all? Or is that not a rule for sure? I'm astonished. I didn't know for sure. Was I, no, no flipping for me? So, there was something lost in interpretation. Hunter's been flipping for like four days. So now she thinks that she gets all the flipping fish. She doesn't know that I'm still the flipper. I'm King Flipper, okay? Just because just, just she's caught on my rod where I tell her where to throw at don't mean nothing. Hey, I need you to say that back to the camera right now. I'm just joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. She's been doing good the last few days flipping, but I whipped out old jig and caught me one. So I said after I went fishing last time, the next time you see me, I'll be fishing high drill or skipping docks or something. This is kind of like an impromptu fishing day. We were not planning on going today. It was supposed to storm and rain today, and it didn't happen. And I was editing my frog fishing videos and that made me want to go catch some on a frog so that's what we're doing today do me a favor guys leave me a comment what kind of videos y'all want to see y'all want me to do some tip videos give me some ideas y'all see me fish with certain baits do some type of challenge just give me some ideas below if you would like and i would try to fulfill them if i can There we go. Finally got one on the old pink worm. I thought it was gonna be a spot for sure. No. Nope. But I hooked him dead on. <laughs> Boom. So catching them on a frog, I reel them in so fast, I'm gonna have to teeth talk to y'all for longer 
because I need to waste some time on my videos. Look at this nice Chickamauga bats. Just joking. I ain't doing that. Gosh, dog it. So I was not recording, but I got it on this one. Snatched him on in here. Holy crap. He freaking ate it, though. Little one. Oh, I thought it was a bigger than that. Gosh. I didn't come out and slurp that sucker. That's a good one, though. Dang. Dang, sure good. I didn't come out and slurp that sucker. I laid the wood to that one. And I couldn't move him. I saw him under there sitting with it in his mouth. Ugh. That's a good one. That's a three-pounder. Maybe a little bit over. Three, two, three, three, maybe. Nice one right there. I laid the wood to that one. Big and big and big old one. Holy crap. I'll, I'll get him. Oh my gosh, what dude. Okay, get him. That's like an eight pounder. You got to get him soon. Do you have him? <laughs> oh my god, look at that one, dude. That's like a freaking seven or eight pounder. Oh my gosh. Let's get rid of oh. Give me this dude. Give me my big girl. Oh my gosh. We needed him Saturday in that freaking tournament. Oh, he broke your fingernail? Yeah. I thought about swinging him. Look at the fuse in his mouth. Look at this freaking thing. That is crazy. We're keeping that. Oh my God, dude. <laughs> That's like an eight pounder. I'm serious. That's like a freaking eight pounder. Why don't, I, why don't I try to fish hydrilla? Why don't I do that? Okay, so that is a big fish in a live wheel. That is not the eight pounder. About 10 minutes after, probably about five minutes after I caught that eight pounder, I threw under another bush and caught this one close to four pounds. That's a super long fish. On Chickamauga fish are usually not this long. That's probably a high three, like a 314, 315. Right after I caught that eight pounder, caught that sucker. Didn't get it on video, so I apologize, but did catch that sucker. Really, really cool bite, actually. Sorry. Okay, so my personal best is eight seven or else eight nine. I'm not a hundred percent sure. Right in there. That's why you this big joker. How much are we rooting for right here? I don't even know. You got a scale on? He's like an eight pounder. You like panhandled that fish in there. In, I thought it was like a five. <laughs> I knew when I set the hook, I was a big one. <laughs> Time to see what's up with it. I think it's 713. It, it could be. It's, it's freaking big. Here's your nail. I don't even know if I can grab it. You can't hold it with one hand. Yeah. Eight three. Eight one. 
mate one. God, dog. Okay, so look. Pretty much, that's the biggest fish I've caught all year. I'm pretty sure. I don't think I've caught one bigger than eight this year. I've caught a 712, a few more seven and three quarter inch fish. I don't think I've caught one over eight, and I got to catch it on my favorite rod and reel and bait, a Spro Frog, 65 pound line, seven foot six extra heavy rod, and a Shimano Corrado 70. That's like my favorite way to fish. I literally caught a three and a half. Five minutes later, skip under there. Ooh, catch that eight pounder. Five more minutes, I catch another four. It's unreal right here, right now. This video is probably gonna make it out a little late because I'm not gonna ruin this lake until it gets a little bit over, uh, until it gets a little bit past where they're biting. Sorry guys, some awesome footage, but I gotta save it for a little while. Four pounder, not bad. Ooh. Not happy either. Mm -hmm. Twice his size. Daggum 8-1 right there. Daggum big and man. So much fun. Look at that big giant puppy, man. So obviously I found a pretty magical stretch of bushes right there. Caught a three and a half, or a three and a quarter probably, then an eight, and then a dang four within like 15 minutes. What happened was there was a mayfly hatch. It was actually a little bit different. I've never seen mayflies that were green. I don't know if they had just hatched or what, but I've seen them just hatched before and they're still dark brown, but a couple landed on me and they were bright green mayflies. Like, I've never seen them that color. But anyways, call them fish, skipping a frog under bushes. It's fun. You go up there right now, you're mostly going to catch two pounders. You rarely catch big ones. That, that was a very magical place where I caught those big ones uh, because the mayflies were there. But anyways, if you like the video, you like seeing an eight pounder crush a topwater frog, leave a like, leave a comment. Hit that subscribe button. I will see y'all later.